Hi everyone, I am Prem Kumar. Welcome to Math J Academy. Today I am going to teach you very interesting trick on limits. Limit x goes to 0, k1 power x plus k2 power x plus k3 power x so on kn power x whole divided by n. Number of terms here is n term is a divided by n whole power 1 by x. Whatever you are raising the common term of x here, you have to take it as a denominator of the power okay so how to prove this just you can take this as y apply log on both side you can easily prove this one so you can get product of all the k ones k i's whole power one by number of terms so where k i's are any positive real number because when you take log the k i's will not be zero k cannot be negative okay so the only positive real number is possible okay let me take the first example so here k1 is what 2 and k2 is 8 you multiply whole power 1 by the number of term is 2 right so 2 into 8 here is what uh, 2 into 2 cube whole power 1 by 2 we can write 8 you can write 2 cube so this is 2 power 4 whole power 1 by 2 so 1 times here 2 times that is 4 i hope everyone understands second example you can see the product of all the terms right so 1 into 9 into 81 whole power 1 by how many term is there 3 term is there whole divided by 3 <coughs> so now so 9 into 9 square whole power 1 by 3 so 81 we can write 9 square this is 9 cube whole power 1 by 3 so 3 3 cancels 9 the same way here you can do the third one you can see 10 into 10 100 into 1000 right whole power 1 by 3 this is uh, 10 this is 10 square this is 10 cube so 10 power 6 whole power 1 by 3 this is 1 times here is 2 times that is 10 square it is 100 okay let me take the last example square root 2 into square root 3 whole power 1 by 2 here two terms only is there right this is square root of 6 whole power 1 by 2 this is how to write 6 power 1 by 2 whole power 1 by 2 this is 6 power 1 by 4 is your answer i hope everyone understand so if you like this video please subscribe my channel math j academy thank you everyone